Green citation just is notorious, and I haven't realized a bit bad Foxy to read to a poem. This one's entitled She Who Gave In to Insanity. This was inspired by Quicktron, who has inspired quite a few of my poems thanks to their, you know, creepy mouse wife who love. God bless those. God bless good artists with good taste. And those who, you know, manage to just breathe life into things you just go, I didn't know it could look that cool. Awesome. But. I don't know if I can actually post this one because Mousy Waifu is half naked. And we all know YouTube, they must be fully not naked to be posted on the YouTubes. So I might find something else to use instead of her, but he, of course, will be promoted and will be, you know, given the credit and the shout outs. So I might use another Mousy one. I think it's not completely naked. I'll have to check. Uh, well, you'll be seeing it to, to you know, clarify the nakedness. So give me one second as we go and check while we do this. Da, da, da. I think that's the one. No, I don't think that is the one. Where is the one? Do be do be do do be do be do do be. Why is this fucking song in my head? Oh nope 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 nope. nope. There she is not naked. Good, we can use it. We are, we are clear on the not naked. Okay, we are clear on the not naked. Awesome. YouTube will not yell at me and you know, be mad. And be like, hey, you can't use this. So you will see the picture now. Okay, cool. Well, we got that horribleness out the way. So you know, we, we can't have naked. We can't have not. We cannot have full naked on the YouTube screen. We can have close naked, but we cannot have full naked. Nice. I think I've still broke that rule on several my several occasions. Looking at you, RMK, and my poems for you. Yeah, I think I've already broken that rule, so I think YouTube doesn't care as long as you're not making money. So I think that still works. I think we're still golden. I think we're still golden. You just won't see that as, you know, thing. But yeah, because I'm pretty sure I've already broken that rule on several accounts. Uh, but, um, this is a poem, a Skaven poem. I've done quite a few, and this also goes with the... Uh, God, what will I call these now? Because it fits, since I am kind of putting this towards the Lapin and the Lupin group, I have not made many sheep sheep poems you know, towards Mother Moon, um, Mother Moon, but I might need to do that. Next Kindred, make a note. No, make, make a note. Next Kindred, picture, see, going to go and tie this all together. Going to tie all this in together with, you know, all four of them. And I did kind of in my latest poem, I did, you know, reference them to the sins, but uh, I think I'm getting too far ahead of myself, and I really need to hurry, because I got work in a few minutes, so let's go and get this thing rolling. Yeah, my new secretary's kind of looking at me like, you better hurry the fuck up, so let's do this. What I'm supposed to do? This is she who gave me to her in into insanity. Have you heard of she who was bound to the tethers of insanity, who relished the suffering of another over the own birth of her offspring? For no other could understand the beauty of those cries and screams that plead into a symphony, an orchestrated elegy as they melt away and become one with nothing. Is there a greater joy than watching one's toys breaking in their hands, feeling the shards of fragmented bones slip through the fingers and land into the sewage that they themselves have brought into this land? Is there anything better than getting white at the sight of death ravaging a soul that refuses to let go of their fleeting life? Simple pleasures that one should always take the time to witness, such moments where atonement should be forsaken as one is awakened to the joys of a well-timed tragedy. For it's only fair to address the well-dressed who come with glossed armor and gun with something that will match. For what tailor would allow their client to leave in such a dull and unsophisticated sheets of metal and cloth? No, no, for there is no life in this black mound of slab. For it needs a touch of red, a splash of green, and a noose to go around that neck as your screams are recorded for my next melody. Print that, bitch. Well, thanks, Quicktron, always, for the inspirations. And yes, I know, you can tell I didn't do this first take because there was no excitable doo doo dee doo. But this was notorious. I'm out, deuces. Sign me off, wolf girl. 
Greedy citation. This is notorious. And if you haven't realized, well, I'm not here to read you anything. I'm actually here to promote my book that I just published. It came out October 7th. And I actually gotten the paperback promotion book for me to hand out to all my homies and friends. And this is it. If you can't see it, let me get that close. It's called Chronicles of the Death Row 13 Curtain Call. This series itself is my elaborate brainchild. It is a light novel. That's what she said. Um, no, that bitch ain't light. That bitch is thick as fuck. I'm sorry. This is 690 pages of thick bitch. And if you can read it all, I applaud you. And I also thank you, because that means you took the time to actually do so. But this is a side fantasy with a little bit of fourth wall breaking. And oh, I thought that show was going to get blocked. Sorry. I know. Professionalism. My channel is not known for that. You all know this. But this series, I want to be able to go as far forward as it can backwards. So that's all to the fans though. If fans read this and they go, oh my lord, this is amazing. I can go backwards with it and tell you some of the backstories of some of the characters. Because this, this three volume set is going to give you a little glimpse of what the characters become. But I also don't mind going backwards and showing you how they got there. Because that's also fun. You know, like how Star Wars did, but better. Yes, I'm calling out you, episode 1, 2, and 3. But I think I said enough. I appreciate all those who support me. All of those who have been with me from the beginning of this YouTube channel and decided to stick around. I can't wait till my YouTube channel reaches the great publicity that my DeviantArt channel got. It's not going to happen. No, it probably will happen. It'll just take a lot of work. I mean, I actually put work in my DA channel. I didn't put shit in my YouTube channel, let's be fair. But now I kind of have a reason to. So, um, I don't think I have anything else to say. As you can see and everything, if you want to know, the prices are right there. It's $34.99 for the hairbag volume and $5.99 for the Kindle. Let's be fair. <laughs> $34.99 for this thick bitch is... It makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, again, that thick bitch. And I said, I said before, it's a light novel. Again, that's what she said. And no, that's a fucking lie. That bitch ain't lied at all. But this is notorious. I'm out. This is.